Welcome to the end of the world. traveler <laughs> we have made it to levy um, with our um, adventures and I just made a plan for the uh, rest of the trip and I'm not sure if the, it's the stupidest plan or if the, it's the greatest plan uh, but anyways we are gonna go up north even more and we're gonna go ahead and experience the polar night for five days and I actually just thought about it we might not see the Sun tomorrow either because we're gonna leave early and the sun rises at 11.30 here, so I think we're not going to see the sun either tomorrow. So that's going to be six days without the sun. And I just want to see and experience it. What does it, what does it do to your brain and how, what kind of mood do you get and, and, and you know, all that stuff. So we are going to go to the darkness. And you coming with me. <laughs> I'm going down the darkness, you coming with me. And, and uh, oh my God, I just want to say one thing before we go. This Airbnb, oh my god, it's like a dream. Like, we just booked it for one night, but it looks so incredible. And we were so tired from the day. And just walking in here, I almost wanted to cry. Because it has a super host and the, the touches that he or she put to this place are incredible. Like food on the table, food in the fridge, and, and just everything looks so impeccable. And, and it's just like... You can see that somebody's doing something with his heart or her heart really like like wants to the customers to have a perfect experience and I'm just it it almost made me cry you know um I'm just I just love people like that so much who love what they do and and they put their soul into it you know and this is like this was so perfect after tiring traveling day and uh, Whoopsie, the camera fell. Uh, I still don't have my camera. I broke my camera and I, 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 I think it's like, I didn't, it's, it's still like, I, it's not in my head. Like I haven't realized that I actually don't have my camera and it's actually broken and I can't use it. So we are going to Apollo night and I don't have my camera. So if the Northern Lights come, I'll just have to watch them with not taking pictures. I'm going to die inside basically. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to fix it myself tomorrow we'll see um but anyways we have no plan we're just gonna drive up there and we're gonna we have a sauna in both the places that we're staying we have a sauna and um and uh, and there's no plan so yeah just to see and experience how 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 we react and how how does the human brain react to this darkness and, and how do we feel i feel like it's kind of also like cool quiet time to go and look inwards and think about the year and what you want from this year and uh, and all that good stuff so yeah and we're gonna go eat now we're gonna 
eat some reindeer meat <laughs> that we bought from the from the Boromirs and then we're gonna go and we are gonna uh oh there was some cloudberry jam frozen cloudberry jam that we can buy from here so we buy that to go and then we have some good food with us we can cook we have a um, house with kitchens and so yeah no, okay let's just go why am i talking so much i'm so tired so i'll go eat and sleep and then off we go to the darkness so exciting <laughs> is this the worst idea ever <laughs> who knows only one way to find out Okay, I don't know why it was why I thought it was a good idea to come out of the car with ball to a jacket. This is our little car. We've been going already 2,000 kilometers, but I just wanted to uh, sh show you. We are on our way to uh, Inari and then Kargasniemi, so we are going up. And today we won't see the sunrise at all. And I just want to show you these trees. I mean, look at uh, look how cool they are. They are like uh, they are super tall but super narrow. And, and it's so cool to see the different adaptations that the trees have up here um, to survive the Arctic cold winter. And I am definitely made a mistake, so I'm running back to the car. Okay, I'll see you in the darkness. Viva de Valgos. So we are driving and this rain there is on the road. And the reindeer has a reflector on his horn, so I guess this reindeer likes to walk on the road a lot. <laughs> but they are white and it was so hard to see in the snow. Anyways, really cool. Off, off he goes. Cheers! I'm drinking kombucha. Okay. I am annoyed as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk? I need to talk. We are up here, really up high north in Finland, right? So up high that the sun never even rises up here, which was the whole point because we wanted to come here and experience the polar night. And when we were looking for places, we're going to stay in two places. This one for two nights and then a, a re really beautiful house the other two nights. And the only things that I wanted from the places is that they have sauna. Okay. I just wanted to go to sauna and chill and do nothing. Okay. The damn sauna is not working. The damn sauna is not working. I put it on and it just gets a little bit warm and, and it has really weird smell like something is burning and it's like the electric sauna which is not even like the real sauna with the woods and so like you just have to turn the little thingy and I turned it and it didn't do much and it smells like something is burning so I just I just want this one thing one thing no no too much is that too much but anyways, when this is my biggest problem in life, then my life is good, but it's not my biggest problem. <laughs> my biggest problem is that my camera is not working. But listen, so inside of this camera is a sensor. And in front of a sensor, I have a big black square that is blocking the view. And it is the blade of the shutter. So the blades, um, the shutter fails uh, like it's normal. They just, uh, you know, it took over 200 thousand photos and it just uh, wears off and then it breaks and now it's just chilling in front of the sensor and uh, I mean it did good you know the shutter should last like about 150,000 uh, or something but it already did twice so I can't really complain but anyways listen it just looks like this little blade is like just chilling there and I can just take it away because you don't really need the shutter for making videos because the shutter just goes off when you put, a, put it on live view and then you can make as many videos as you want and then when you're done it goes back so if one blade is missing it's not gonna even have any effect on the video right so i'm like i'm thinking about fixing it myself and just trying to get it off without scraping the sensor because then it's done um is it a good idea <laughs> should i fix it myself because listen I'm up here. There is nothing here. There is a gas station or car market. <laughs> like there is nothing, nowhere I can take it. And I kind of want to make videos. So, you know, should I? This is my baby. We have been through so many good moments 
three years with this one. All of my photos, all of my videos are done with this. And uh, it's my first DSLR and it's, it's, yeah, it's my baby. And now my baby's broken and we already know I'm going to try to fix it myself. And then if I screw it up, I mean, you have to replace the shutter anyway. So, you know, whatever. <sighs> Damn sauna. The sauna started working. Everything is good. La life in Lapland is perfect now. <laughs> this is the line behind between everything is shit, everything is good. <laughs> Guess what I'm eating? From our last Airbnb, we bought some frozen cloudberries. Cloudberries. These are really uh, yummy. So we are just eating them straight from the box. And they're not a uh, jam, but just only the berries. They're a bit of sour, but perfect snack after a sauna. Mm. And I tried to fix my camera, but the mirror didn't even go up anymore. So I couldn't even, if I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't take the thing off. So I think it's maybe a good thing that I did that. Maybe it saved my camera. So... Yes, <laughs> the <laughs> 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 Skoda, Skoda reklame then. I'm making an advertisement for Skoda. So, so, our car, whoa, what's happening? One second. No? We have a problem. Our car broke in the middle of nowhere. So we took this road that is, um, basically it's a road that goes by the river that's in between Finland and Norway. And we just took this little break we stopped here and then we tried to um, we tried to start moving again, uh, but our car's back uh, wheel got blocked. So we think the hand broke, handbrake just froze somehow, uh, and um, and now it's not moving. And we are literally on the bridge, uh, and uh, it's it's just, yeah we don't know what to do, and we just uh, are waiting for roadside assistant to come and save us but i must say this i thought it's much much more darker here but i uh, googled it this morning and i found out that um, up in the polar region the twilight is much much longer than uh, down south and that's why like the sun doesn't rise today but they still have like five to six hours of twilight uh, so it gets quite uh, light outside so that's why we were able to come and uh, drive around to see the mountains and stuff little river <laughs> and uh, and and yeah so I literally had in my mind the imagination that we're gonna go come to complete darkness and it's just gonna be really really dark for the whole time but it's actually not that bad at all and uh, and and yeah the twilight it just lasts for a very long time um, so it's not as bad as I thought, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we are like one hour away from any big city and even those cities are not really big. So we don't know how long it will take for people to get here. <sighs> Life is an adventure. So this year, <laughs> yeah. All the good things are happening this year and all the bad things. <laughs> I mean, this is not a big problem right now, but we'll see. We will see.
okay so 2022 is giving me a lot of lessons already and it's kind of funny but it's not funny but it is funny now that everything is good i'm back in my airbnb no it's not it it's like a hotel we're in an apartment and when we came here when we came here yesterday i was like i don't really like this place at all because it's it's kind of like it's uh, it's situated in a bad place where it's, there's a lot of like noise pollution and then there's also light pollution because we're right like there's a border uh, checkpoint so there's a lot of light pollution here and it doesn't like I wasn't happy about this place you know but then now I'm so happy to be here because you know the car broke and we're like what the hell and and, and at that moment I was like okay I just want to be in our apartment and I'm so glad to be back here and we actually fixed our car ourselves so what we did is that we sprayed some uh, anti-freezer um, on the brakes and then uh, I just drove the car back and forth until the back wheel started to turn again and we were so happy guys you have no idea because literally like we should have if, if, if we couldn't get our car moving we should have uh, had ordered a taxi to take us here and it, we were like an hour away from here and um, I don't even want to know how much a taxi for like an hour ride in the middle of nowhere would cost here so we were so happy when the car started to work and we cancelled the roadside assistant and everything is really good right now um, but I'd be like this is like first of all I talk about in my video how I'm not gonna make videos with my shitty camera uh, no with my shitty phone because it's a bad quality and then literally a few hours later the car breaks up uh, the camera breaks and I can't use it and I'm like okay phone is good enough <laughs> if that's good that's all you have appreciate what you have and then I, I say I don't like this uh, apartment and then boom I'm in the middle of nowhere with a broken car and all I can wish for is that to be in this apartment back uh, with a fixed car or a working car so I feel like 2022 is giving me lessons to you know open your eyes and see what you have and, and, and don't be such a you know what's the word special snowflake or whatever I don't even know what's the word just appreciate what you have you know and uh, and don't complain so much so this is my um, I'll take the lesson okay 2022 you don't I get it you don't have to do it anymore <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, we are just gonna have a nice quiet evening, go to sauna and and then we're gonna go to Utsioki tomorrow, which is um, the place that I stayed in in February as well. So I'm really happy to go over there, show my sister around and, and we are hoping for a really good Northern Light show maybe because we can see it straight from our balcony and I'm just really excited about it. So yeah, I'll see you in Utsioki, I guess. <laughs> guys we are playing cards so i just thought, wanted them to act like they are playing so i can videotape but anyways look i'm definitely gonna lose <laughs> ah, I might as well just go to sauna hey the quiet me again A very very cold Utsioki today it is minus 25 degrees and I just wanted to show you this cute house uh, but uh, this is our house and we are warming up the car to go and see explore the area a little bit and it's like what time is it? it's like uh, 12 30 and look at the sky
So today is still polar night here, but the sun comes up so close to the horizon that it gives you the perfect uh, sunrise, sunset colors in the sky and it's actually quite light outside uh, for, I don't know, um, for like four hours you get the really nice twilight colors and you get the blue hour colors uh, which is really cool um, but yeah this is definitely not what I had in mind when I said that I'm gonna go to polar night to experience <laughs> five days of total darkness I literally got, thought that people are <laughs> living here in total darkness for like uh, for the polar night period but it's not bad at all actually and it's to be honest, you don't even understand that the sun hasn't risen. Like right now, it is so... It is so light outside that, uh, you know, it might as well, the sun might be up, but it's like uh, cloudy, so you can't tell. Uh, you know, so it's not as bad as I thought and, uh, uh, and yeah, I... Definitely had a really wrong understanding in my head what the polar night looks like up here. Uh, so I guess I would have to go out even more up north, uh, which is like if you go 50 kilometers from here north, you're at the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> so you can't really go much more north unless you take a plane and uh, fly to um, the islands that are in the middle of the. Arctic Ocean, ah, but anyways, we're gonna go explore now a little bit and then uh, we will do what we do every night here. We will do sauna <laughs> and it's actually so nice. This sauna here is so beautiful and by the way, I want to recommend this place if you ever come to Ichiok, which probably for most of you will never happen, but if you happen to come here, please, Osmani Kelahovi is such a beautiful place. It's so reasonably priced. And the whole house looks so incredibly beautiful. It's like a work, work of art, really. It's like this huge log house made of kilo wood, and um, it's 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 something to look for. Um, and it just makes me so happy to be here right now, to be honest. <sighs> okay, let's go and try. I can't even tell you right now how much I miss my camera. This right now would be a perfect shot. Oh. Whoa, the light is just so incredible. I was just totally blown away. We are like in the most northern point of Finland in Norgam and we just drove up the hill and even though this is the polar night, it's like the prettiest, I can't say sunset because the sun never came up, but it's the prettiest golden hour. No, what is it? Yeah, golden hour, I guess. And, and you can see all around you uh down to the mountains and i am just totally blown away by this place and i'm so happy that we did this i'm so happy that we decided to go in the middle of nowhere to the polar night to experience all this because this right now is incredible and i just really really wish i had my camera but you know what i will try and um, take it in as a beautiful memory instead and i think that's pretty good deal as well <laughs> thank you Finland polar night is not dark <laughs> it's really beautiful though wow and it is minus 27 degrees right now and it's really cold <laughs> I just made a long video talking without realizing I hadn't 
pushed the record button. But anyways, whew, I feel like this video has been all over the place. Um, but I hope you got pits of understanding how it's like to be here in the polar night in the Arctic Lapland. It's uh, getting warmer here right now, so it's only minus 23 degrees right now. And obviously what we're doing at, at night is that we are going to sauna. This is the sauna house and uh, this this house is like a piece of art because of those trees that it's made of. So it's made of Kela wood, which is basically it's basically like wood that dies but still stands up and doesn't start to rot because it's so cold in here and it's cold outside it's cold outside it's cold and these trees like start to twist and they are they can be up for like a few hundred years before they are taken down and uh and then they make a be beautiful houses out of them and it, they just look really cool uh, but anyways I'm gonna run into the sauna and then I'm gonna run into the, sn the snow and uh, then I guess this will be it for this video. So let me go heat myself up because it is minus 23 degrees. Try this at home! <laughs> Okay, that was cold, <laughs> but I realized this is not a good idea to jump <laughs> into anything with your face first because if there was something like underneath the snow, then that would be dangerous. So we're going to do it again and I'm going to show you how to do it uh, safely. Okay. Okay, let's do it the right way. First thing, don't run because you can uh, slip on the snow and fall. And then you have to be calm and just do it slowly, slowly, slowly. And enjoy it and try to breathe. And then try to get up and make it to the sauna. <laughs> I feel like I just jumped into the uh, ice bath or like the ice hole. Whew. It's actually not bad. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Did you already subscribe to my channel? And leave a comment if you have ever been to Lapland in Polar Night. How was it? Or if you live here, how is it? Or uh, if you have any uh, other comments. And like this video, please. And um, and yeah, I will go now. We will drive back to Helsinki for four, 15 hours. And then I will go and pick up Jack because I miss Jack so much. I can't wait to see him. And yeah, thank you, Finland, for everything. You've been nice to us. We have had so many good experiences. And if I keep talking, I will freeze here and you will never see another video. So I'm going to keep going. Get going. <sighs> <laughs> it's not that bad actually. <laughs> Thank you.